medicine here and I have a package. A doll family A doll. I got this through Mint on Card and I am super excited to finally open it up. I already took it out of the box um, that it shipped in so I kind of peeked at it already but here we go. I got an event doll with this little bunny doll. It comes with little eyes, so we'll check that out. Cleaning sponge, super clear eraser, that kind of a thing. Hands, it looks like. He's in normal yellow or yellow resin. I like that he comes in the whole sponge thing. Um, the other company that does this is this little cutout sponge guy is um, Apple House, and their dolls are awesome. So, sponge suit. Here's his card. Shoo shoo tree man. Your doll family. And eyes, it's got brown eyes. Came with them, some S hooks. And here we go for the face. Right. Let me actually hold on. Okay. The most important thing about this doll is his face. The reason I actually bought this particular doll was for this um, bark detail that you see here. This is actually sculpted into the resin, this tree bark kind of oak looking thing. Now, you notice there's some bark above the eyebrow. That is not actually part of the company face up. Um, Mint on Card messaged me when he arrived that the first doll had a big cut, like a big chip out of his, the back of his head, like right here, was completely broken out. Now, they were able to fix it and glue it and all that, but they gave me the option of seeing if they could get a new face from Doll Family or getting discounts and things like that. I went with reordering another face because I figured this is what I bought him for was for his head. And so they did. Well, then that doll came, and that's him, and it had a, he had a chip in his eyebrow. Well, the amazing face of artist at Mint on Card worked with me, and we were able to continue the bark design from here to here and it looks amazing. That is just her face of talent. She did the exact same kind of textured look over here and I am just thoroughly impressed with how that turned out because it saved the integrity of the doll family default face up but added like a little cool detail. So I'm super super thrilled. So I knew what he looked like before I even opened the box because they'd been sending me updates about that. But again, mint on card, awesome. You guys, they are great. All right, so let's move on. Okay, interesting. So we've got two kinds of hands. We've got these like finger spread hands or fingers together hands. And it looks like it might be slightly smaller, the fingers together hands. So I don't know, I, I kind of like, I kind of think I like these better than these. These kind of look like he's like, Frankenstein, Arr. but I don't know, I'll check him out. I'll see how I feel, leave him on for a little bit. Double jointed, looks like. I'm bring my scissors because it would have been so much easier. Alright, so double jointed elbows. Got the peanut here. And the elbow looks nice when it's closed, so that's good. Just go good stuff there. Okay. Um, let's 
see, the back looks good. It's nice and smooth. I might need to clean them off a little bit from being in the box. I like that they, um, I like that Doll Family rocked, wrapped all the joints really well. Because sometimes that's where things break, is the joints. So. This table is not very sturdy, so. And he's standing all on his own. Even with my terrible, not so sturdy table. Alright, so sorry for the light. I just realized that the lighting in here is really bad. Um, I have like two minutes between my kid's nap and everything else to kind of get this done. So this is what it is. So I'll try to do, I'll try to take some pictures to kind of show you guys a little bit better. Um, so you can see him better. But he stands really well outside of the box. So good there, good stringing so far. Everything looks to be pretty good. He's got the double joint here. He's got the mobility joint in the thigh. So a lot of people like those. I don't really care. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh my, I did not realize he's got a two-piece torso here. That's, so there's a joint here and here. Now, I'm having interesting time kind of getting him set here. I get that they got these little, they got this little notch here. You see this little thing? And there's some notches inside that it kind of clips into to kind of hold some poses so he can tilt a little bit better, but I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess it'll help. And this also has one too up here, but that just, this notch here just locks in one place here to kind of keep them straight. Uh, so, whoa, geez, kind of don't know how I feel about this little I feel like his, he's getting all over the place. Whoa, see? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I get the intention behind this, but I kind of feel like it's it's not working very good. So, but I love him. All right, well, I really, really like him so far. Not, but this is kind of simple. So are his arms, but I think he looks great. Pretty excited. With his extra hands. Alright, so I need to get his eyes. I'll put his eyes in him, and I've got an outfit for him, so I'll get him dressed up. Uh, but, but now let's check out the bunny. Let's check out our little bunny here. And scissors would have been great. Okay, so free event bunny. I've advised before, but if you happen to be able to get a doll during an event, I highly, highly, highly recommend that. It's the way to go. Because you get anything from clothes to shoes to extra parts. I've gotten everything from little dolls to jointed hands to clothes, so... Definitely something fun to try to do. Okay. Alright. Oh, it is super cute. I don't, I've never gotten a BJD animal before. Um, so, this is kind of my first getting like a little animal. Okay, and you can see the pink skin resin versus the yellow for doll family. I don't know if that's showing up pretty good. Um, I think it is. But there's the difference in pink and yellow. It's because the bunny is pink and my shoo shoo tree man is yellow. So. Oh, neat! Ah! 
it's actually got a face like faceplate system for this. That's pretty cool. And the ears are jointed with a string here. You see that? So wow, neat. Oh my gosh, it's so little. Big eyes. Little nubby feet, anime style. <laughs> That's so cute. Can do a little bit with the ears. Not a whole lot. I mean, they're jointed. The ears have little, little ball joints in them. And little hands, a belly button, and look! A little bunny tail. A little bunny tail on a little bunny butt. So that's pretty neat. I wasn't, oh my gosh, there's a little, there's a little paw pad in the middle of its hand. Alright, cool, and he came with free eyes, like with a pair of eyes in his card too. That's pretty neat, and some eye putty. Well, that's great, I didn't realize that's eye putty uh, to put the eyes in. Alright, so there's my dolls. Let me get them dressed and eyes in and everything so they look a little bit less alien and more living. Um, and so I'll see you back in a minute. Alright, and here he is. Spare hands. I think those little S hooks that came with the eyes and eye putty are for the extra hands. Because um, they're little. They're small, like, like wrist. what's in their wrist. Um, but here he is, all dressed up. He's wearing a Lutz caramel orange wig or something. Angel Studio outfit. And the little bunny is wearing a little doll zone outfit. And they both have their default eyes in. He's wearing his orange wig because it's fall. And since he's a dryad, which means he's a tree spirit, he has um, his hair reflects the colors of the leaves that the tree he lives in. So right now he's got some fall leaves, or the forest more specifically, because oaks are kind of more, um, they turn green and brown. They don't really turn orange that much, but. So he is, um, the name of my character is Quirith. Um, that is the tentative name as of right now, Quirith. It's kind of an odd name. I was trying to go for something that had like the genius of oak trees like trying to use that as a base for the name. Um, but I've been calling him Queerus for so long that's kind of what stuck. Um, but that's the character's name and he is a Dryad from the Dryad Clan. He is one of Amnesia's very, very dear friends. Um, he is trapped inside of his tree so she doesn't get to talk to him or doesn't get to see him ever. He's pretty much in the tree, he doesn't come out. Um, but that I'll talk about in maybe a BJD and a cup of tea episode. The bunny is just cute and free, um, part of the gift, so I don't have a storyline for the bunny at all. So I'll have fun trying different outfits and maybe a face up and blushing someday. Um, but I'm super, super, super happy with how he turned out. Um, I'm so happy with what with Mint on Card for working with me to fix the chip in his eyebrow. Um, it looks so good. And I know you can't tell now with the wig, but I have other wigs for him. I hope to, I plan to change his wig with the season, so that'll be pretty fun. Um, and I, I liked this Angel Studio um, kimono outfit because it had the this wood looking design, kind of like a forest feel to it. So I wanted something simple with him being a spirit um, he doesn't need real clothes because he doesn't actually live in the world just yet. He is stuck in his tree until the ancient mag magics of Shylon can be free. So he is part of the Shylon story, as most of my dolls are. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, stay tuned for some pictures of him. Hopefully you'll be able to see the details much better. The lighting in here is kind of bad. So hopefully I can bring that out in the photos. And... Uh, if you're interested in following me, I've been active on, t on Tumblr, actually, Metasynth um, at Tumblr. You can find some of my doll pictures there. I've been doing a 30-day BJD photo 
challenge, and so I hope to compile all of that and do that in a video very soon, as soon as I finish all 30 days. But um, being a mom, full-time mom now, and part-time writer, the dolls have definitely not been very active um, as part of my life. They, I, obviously, I'm still doing things with them, buying clothes, buying dolls, um, so I've upgraded some of the dolls' eyes and wigs and, and clothes and things, and uh, like I said, I've been doing photos on Tumblr when I have sp some spare time. So I'm still around, still here, uh, just been very, very busy. So thanks so much for everybody who still watches and everybody who's subscribed. You guys have been fantastic. Um, look forward to more doll videos, like I said. I'll be compiling a doll photo video hopefully soon. That is my plan to do next. And as far as um, doll updates, so I got a couple dolls on layaway. Um, but as far as other dolls, that's it. I just have one set on layaway, and I don't have plans for more, but you know how that is. <laughs> Alright, until next time. Bye!